Libertex and Leggiamo and OER Multidimensional and Cross Discipline Language Course. Libertex offer the possibility to collaborate not only with different authors, but also with different disciplines creating knowledge that bridges uh, and empowers students. During this demonstration, I show how Italian can be aligned to other Romance languages, in particular French, and how connections can be made to other disciplines such as art history, political science, engineering, and many others. Why another Italian textbook and why this is different? At the basis of this work stay some consideration. First of all, learning a language for the language makes no sense. The language needs to be contextualized. The language exists because there is a content. So why not just present the content at the, the early stages of the language and not working only on mechanical, on the mechanical, on the mechanical of the language. Second consideration, language is the manifestation of the culture. A language exists because culture needs to be communicated. So culture must be with the language. So why not just start talking about culture immediately? In culture, it is, uh, art, culture, it is uh, literature, culture, it is uh, the product of the culture, engineering uh, or science, um, uh, intellectual thoughts, like uh, uh, consideration about economics uh, or uh, political science. And number three, let's start learning the language through the story of the language. So the language shapes because uh, there are story to be told, and so why not just tell the story? So my new work start considering these uh, three points and the methodology that is this one. The background for the new, new textbook is a TPR methodology. The methodology TPR, Total Physical Response by James Archers is a method that focuses on presenting a great amount of comprehensible input to students. For more on TPSR, uh, you can read fluency through TPRR storytelling, achieving real language acquisition in school by Blaine, Ray, and Conti uh, Sealy. And this is uh, a book that I recommend to read. For sure, for Italian, we need more comprehensible and compelling stories that are not present in the actual book. Let's see how TPR, TPRS works for my classes. Material and how I created a text starting from text that were in Liber text. So this is uh, the product uh, that they come out now and still working in this. And uh, leggiamo. So let's go to uh, the library of LibreText and uh, let's start analyzing uh, the process of my book. So if we go to the library of LibreText, we have uh, two two places and the bookshelves is uh, um, the final products we can find. In, for, for my book, I start working, check it out what was already available and I went to languages and then I wanted to see how other languages prepare their classes. So I analyze French, Italian, and Spanish. Um, in particular, I was impressed by the, uh, the book, the French book, Carrasco, Zaedi, and Paris because it was um, quite completed and so I uh, actually saw 
that uh, we can uh, parallel Italian to French. So I start using this book as uh, main uh, content for the language. So everything that was in French here, I put into Italian in a similar way for the different units that the named module actually reduce it and in mine uh, there are only four but they follow the same uh, pattern and then after this book I wanted to see what was already available that there was the Italian Spunti, Italiano Elementare Spunti, of Daniel Leizakwich and Daniela Viale, and I combined and I created mine. So the main idea in Libertex is uh, the collaboration and to share the material. And uh, indeed, uh, I did. So let's see uh, my method now. So the key technique of TPRS is asking questions, story asking or ask a story, and then co-creating stories with students. First things to do is working with vocabulary because the first text must be comprehensible. So I uh, use a lot of Quizlet to play with the vocabulary and Quizlet help uh, to explore the vocabulary and uh, learning the vocabulary and then it's presented before the story. Then there is a story that students uh, need to read. So read the story listen to the story, ask yes or no questions, answer yes or no questions, ask two option questions, answer with the correct options, ask the students to formulate two questions related to the story, two classmates need to answer, ask students to create their own story similar to the one they just read using the vocabulary provided in the Quizlet or use in the story. Read or perform the story. So you can uh, um, find out that if you do this, students immediately start using the language. And they, they can actually say something just at early, early stages. So let's see some example here from my from the book. So this is module one. So uh, if you go here, so you see how module one is organized. So similar to the um, to the French text, I align English into Italian because there are similar words, so you don't start from zero. And here the first text to be read. Uh, first of all, there is a game, a language game here in Quizlet. So you can do as a flashcard. So ask the students to uh, be familiar with uh, the vocabulary or the words that are in the text. And using the flashcard, uh, they can also listen. Bello. Ah. Cita. And here the text. So the students need to read aloud. 
and then uh, you can listen to the test here. Uh, so this is the text and you see there is also English translation nearby. So siamo a Firenze, una bella città in Italia, un ragazzo incontra una ragazza, sono in un museo, il museo dell'Accademia. Sono davanti alla statua di Davide, il ragazzo si chiama Michelangelo, la ragazza Artemisia. Michelangelo è giovane, alto, bello, muscoloso. Artemisia è giovane, bassa, bella, non è magra. Michelangelo, buongiorno, mi chiamo Michelangelo, come ti chiami? Artemisia, ciao, mi chiamo Artemisia, come stai? Michelangelo, sto bene, e tu? Artemisia, sto bene, grazie. A Firenze è in vacanza Oprah Winfrey, opera americana, importante e gentile, è al Museo degli Uffizi. Anche Sergio Mattarella è al Museo degli Uffizi. Sergio Mattarella è il presidente della Repubblica Italiana. Mattarella è anziano, importante e gentile. Opera, buongiorno, sono Opera Winfrey, come si chiama? Sergio Mattarella, buongiorno, sono Sergio Mattarella, come sta? Opera, sto bene, grazie. And here you can see the, uh, the question, uh, yes or no. Firenze è una città? Yes. Uh, Firenze è una bella città? Sì. Un ragazzo incontra una ragazza? Sì. And then... Uh, the other questions. As you can um, find out, if you uh, start really analyzing the previous text that was here, the student is getting familiar with the, the words and the terminology. But this is also the start of the story that will be told in the book. So the book is organized telling stories, so there is a, um, a content story that involves some people in, in Firenze, and these people will tell other stories that contextualize the vocabulary and tell the Italian culture. So the cultural content for each module, it will be this. So the capitolo, modulo 1, one, focus on art, medieval and renaissance art in connection to historical context. There is the Davide of Michelangelo and the Venus of Botticelli first. So you can see there are two different types of art, very, very familiar to students, very famous. David is a statue, while uh, the Venus of Botticelli, it is a painting, so two different type of production. Mm, context is the Renaissance, Italy, is uh, what uh, Italy is famous for. Um, the Davide also represents um, a masculine organization of uh, words. As a matter of fact, you know, is a body, is a masculine body, so we can start describing a masculine body, while the Venus, uh, it is a feminine body. So we can compare masculine and feminine immediately. On the same time, uh, there are two different conversations. The conversation among the two young people at the Academia Museum, Michelangelo and Artemisia, there are informal, while at the Uffizi Museum with uh, Mattarella and Oprah Winfrey, they are formal. But from this, the story is uh, going on. Michelangelo and Artemisia, they are going to meet uh, the following day, and they are going to explore another museum in Florence, where there is uh, another production uh, of Michelangelo that is similar to the David. So there is a comparison among two statues. So the other statue, it is the Bacchus. This gives us also an opportunity to introduce a poem written by Lorenzo de' Medici, 
il trionfo di Bacco e Arianna e introduce some music. So here in the first module we have our history, a little bit of history, and then uh, literature and music. Second module, then uh, the story is still going on. We have uh, that uh, opera Winfrey and then Mattarella, they are going to meet uh, in front of the uh, Porta del Paradiso, that it is uh, the door of the battery in uh, Florence Main Square, Piazza Duomo. And the Porta del Paradiso, still an artistic work, uh, give us an opportunity also to, uh, to show students that there are also some replica. For example, there is a replica of the Porta del Paradiso in San Francisco, and maybe they are familiar with what there is in Porta del Paradiso. As a matter of fact, the different panels that are in the Porta del Paradiso, they are all talking about families. So it's the families thought about since the beginning when God created Adam, and then going on and on with all biblical families. So there is a narrative in art. So also that uh, give us an opportunity to work with the language, but also with uh, the work, artistic work. So opera and uh, Mattarella, they're in front of opera, the Porta del Paradiso, start, start talking about families. So we have the vocabulary about families. And Mattarella is talking about his own family. There are some interesting situations for his life. Uh, well, uh, Mattarella, it is from uh, uh, Palermo, and when he was young, uh, in, his brother was killed by mafia. And this is another opportunity to talk about uh, um, something that maybe Italian is famous for. Um, but also this is a social organization, the mafia is a social organization, is uh, um, it's not a positive one, but uh, it exists and existed. But despite that, uh, so the different stories uh, that are told are inserted in another context. So uh, Mattarella and uh, Oprah Winfrey, they are um, exploring other part of uh, Florence, and they are going to see the Cappelle Medice. Here in the Cappelle Medice, there are other work of Michelangelo, and in front of that, Mattarella is going to tell other stories that connect why these Cappelle Medice were made in that way, and connected to the Cappelle Medice, one of the tomb is Lorenzo de' Medici, the, uh, the grandchild of Lorenzo de' Medici, the first one. And it was the father also of Caterina de' Medici. And so there is all a story about Caterina de' Medici, that was the queen of the Queen of France at a certain point, Rome, when the Medici family ruled uh, as a pope. And uh, um, the introduction of the Prince uh, Principe of Machiavelli as political science book. Um, because uh, Machiavelli actually dedicated the prince to Lorenzo de Medici that is buried in this uh, tomb, deep tomb in Florence. Uh, so here we have, uh, we are going to talk about the importance of families uh, in political life, political life uh, in the past, political life uh, in the present. Then uh, chapter number three, the focus on business, uh, bank, fashion, and religion. Florence uh, gives us a wonderful opportunity to talk about, again, our, our characters, uh, they are still talking, and they are still exploring Florence. In walking in Florence, uh, they discovered uh, that Florence have uh, um, 
many beautiful buildings, but also many beautiful uh, um, artifacts uh, and, uh, and shops where to buy clothes, where to buy jewelries, where to buy um, different, uh, different things. And so here um, there will be a space to talk about uh, the art and so the leaks that they used to be in Florence, uh, how was divided the society and how they product uh, commerce uh, and businesses. As a matter of fact, uh, the Medici family was uh, the first uh, banker in the world. So they actually invent bank system. So here we have a uh, business uh, and economics insert into the language telling again uh, simple stories. And uh, we have uh, a story from Boccaccio de Cameron. So introduce uh, that the Cameron is an important uh, book in uh, in, for Italian literature. The chapter number four, um, the focus on is engineering architecture and then um, we can see and then it's going to explore the Museum of the Science in Florence and the Vasari Vita give us some example about the life of this important artist that they were also an um, engineer for example, Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, so here I show you an example from module number four. So this is a picture from the Museum of the Science in Florence. So the uh, chapter number four, they're here in, uh, in, in Liber text. So here you see in città, so pretty much it's like learning about the city, so as the city is organized. Um, in the story here. So again, the stories keep, keep going on and then uh, they are going to, to meet each other at uh, different uh, places, uh, different, uh, different uh, um, locations. So il signor Mattarella arriva al suo albergo e trova sua figlia Laura. Mattarella, ciao Laura, come stai? Che cosa hai fatto oggi? Hai fatto spese? Laura Mattarella, sto bene, no, non ho fatto spese. Sono andata al Museo della Scienza e ho ricevuto un invito da un caro amico e ho fatto una visita guidata. So we are here past tense, so past tense into the context. So Mattarella asked what uh, his daughter did and she say uh, she did go shopping he asked and said no I didn't I went to visit uh, the museum of science uh, because I, I received uh, an invitation and so here there is uh, the reference to the museum of science in Florence and what you can see here what the, the different events that they are here in the museum of science and then you see you say Leonardo Arte Scienza, Fra Chemia e Chimica, etc. And then to stimulate students to understand that Italy is not only art, art is extremely connected to science. Uh, there is like a video where actually mm, is told about uh, how important is art for Italy art and uh, uh, engineering. So here they are telling about all the product uh, in... Performance. Soon we will be able to watch the magnificent Italian landscape speeding past at over 400 kilometers an hour. While trains are becoming faster, aeroplanes are becoming lighter and less polluting. Thanks to an Italian patent, the Boeing 787 is the first plane made of plastic. This composite material consists of carbon fiber and synthetic resin, which is stronger and lighter than aluminium. 
The fuselage, manufactured in Grottaglie, in the region of Apulia, will be assembled with other parts manufactured in the rest of the world to produce the lightest aircraft ever. Nel 1938 l'Accademia di Svezia conferì a Enrico Fermi il Nobel per la Fisica. In effetti Enrico Fermi, assieme ai suoi studenti e ai suoi collaboratori, erano riusciti a penetrare nei segreti della materia a livello atomico. E oggi la loro grande eredità è stata raccolta dall'Istituto Nazionale di Fisica Nucleare. Certo, rispetto ai loro tempi, le tecnologie e i mezzi sono molto cambiati, ma l'ingegno e le intelligenze invece sono sempre quelle. E nella ricerca dei segreti della materia, l'Italia e gli italiani sono sempre in prima fila. CERN, in Geneva, is the place on Earth with the highest concentration of geniuses in the field of physics, where the most advanced experiments take place to unveil the secrets of the universe and of matter. A total of 600 Italian physicists work there. Four of them are in charge of the top experiments performed with the most powerful machine in the world, the 27-kilometer-long LHC particle accelerator. Particles are generated in the accelerator. Among them, neutrinos can be found, one of the most mysterious... And uh, on and on. So this gives us an occasion okay, to see how uh, my book is actually inserted here in Canvas. And then, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, um, the, the integration of... Uh, uh, canvas can be here in uh, Libertex can be integrated in Canvas. Um, my book is not possible yet because it was not approved and then we are still going on uh, on different uh, revision. Uh, but I would like to do it so right now actually working on different link in Canvas. But uh, if you want to see how beautiful it is uh, with the French book, uh, the way it is, uh, it is uh, integrated is so beautiful. You see, is the book that uh, before I show you can be integrated in Canvas, uh, and that is really save us teachers a lot of time. And then it's uh, perfect because so well organized. So I really like Libertex uh, for the way it is presented uh, and give the students opportunity to practice the material. Um, so what the student thinks about my book? So first of all, I can see that, uh, yeah, they're very interested in learning languages because there is a content and they're very curious to know more. So language makes me discover the real culture. So this is some comment. I like the game with the vocabulary and like to see the meaningful example. Uh, I like to learn different perspectives. So these are some of the um, feedback uh, um, for, um, for what I can say. And yes, I have more students and the, there is more retention. So next. Uh, so first of all, it's not done my work. There's, uh, it's a work in progress right now, and I'm still uh, adding text. So it's to create more reading integrated into the textbook. So creating more story with the vocabulary offered. And then I have to give uh, credit a lot to Andrea Petri of Miracosta College because he created uh, other stories. His stories uh, are more nowadays stories why mine are like a more uh, historical background story based on uh, story that really happened in italian history and the next show so some important personalities in the past but uh, maybe mm, this andrea mm, this work can be integrated uh, the work of andrea can be integrated to, um, to into this test uh, to allow students to read more and then practice in this way the language. And with this uh, I'm done and I'm here um, to, to, to talk with you and answer your questions.
Thank you.